Let's explore the world of mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animals. That means their bodies stay the same temperature, even when it's cold or hot outside. All mammals have backbones. They breathe air using lungs. And most have hair or fur on their bodies. One of the most important features of mammals is that mother mammals feed their babies with milk. Mammals give birth to live young, not eggs. Although there are a few special cases like the platypus. Some common mammals are humans, tigers, dogs, cats, cows, bears, whales. That's right, even whales are mammals, even though they live in the ocean. Lions. Next, let's flap over to the world of birds. Birds are warm-blooded like mammals, and they also have backbones. Birds are covered with feathers. No other animals have feathers. Most birds can fly, although not all. Think of penguins or ostriches. Birds lay eggs with hard shells. And they usually build nests to take care of their babies. Birds have beaks instead of teeth, and they breathe using lungs. Some common birds you might see are pigeons, eagles, parrots, and chickens. Now, let's hop into the world of amphibians. Amphibians are cold-blooded animals. This means their body temperature changes with the environment. Amphibians have smooth, moist skin, and they can breathe through their skin as well as with lungs when they grow up. In fact, amphibians go through metamorphosis, a big change in body shape and way of living. Some examples of amphibians are frogs, toads, and salamanders. Frogs start as eggs laid in water, which hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles grow gills and tails. Through metamorphosis, tadpoles develop lungs and legs, transforming into adult frogs that can live both on land and in water. Beneath the still surface, an ancient process begins. A story repeated for millions of years this is where it starts, not with a splash, but a whisper, a single egg, a hidden world of transformation. Let's unlock the stages of a fish's life, one transformation at a time. Beneath the water's surface, thousands of tiny eggs are laid by female fish, floating, hidden, or carefully placed in nests, depending on the species. Each egg is a miniature world, holding a developing life inside. Inside each egg, something incredible is happening. Cell by cell, the embryo forms. This is the embryo stage, where organs start to take shape, the spine develops, and the heart begins to beat. Once the egg hatches, we meet the larva, a fragile see-through creature with a yolk sac attached to its belly. This yolk sac feeds it for the first few days as it floats through the water. Once the yolk sac is used up, the fry enters a new chapter, it's now got to find its own food. These tiny fish start hunting plankton and microscopic creatures. Their body begins to change, fins form, scales appear, and they start to swim like pros. Think of this as the teenage phase. The fish now looks more like an adult version of its species. Fully developed and reproductively mature, the fish is now ready to repeat the cycle. Slithering silently through forests, deserts, and swamps, snakes are among nature's most mysterious and fascinating creatures. But have you ever wondered how they begin their lives? Let's take a closer look at the life cycle of a snake, starting with the very beginning, the egg. 
Most snakes lay eggs, though some give birth to live young. Snake eggs have a leathery shell, distinguishing them from bird eggs. Snake eggs typically take 45 to 70 days to hatch, depending on species and environmental temperature. Warmer, stable conditions can speed up development, while cooler temperatures slow it down. Baby snakes, known as snakelets or hatchlings, emerge fully formed and independent. Snakes grow by shedding their skin, a process known as ectasis. Most snakes are oviparous. They lay eggs outside their body. Common egg layers include king cobras, rat snakes, grass snakes, viviparity, live birth. Some snakes give birth to live young, much like mammals do. These babies develop inside the mother and are born fully formed. Ovoviviparity, internal eggs, live birth. This is a mix between the two. Eggs form inside the mother's body, the young hatch inside her and come out alive. Examples include boa constrictors, green anacondas, and rattlesnakes. Let's wrap it up. Animals with backbones are called vertebrates and they can be warm-blooded or cold-blooded. Mammals and birds are warm-blooded. They keep their body temperature steady. Reptiles, amphibians, and fish are cold-blooded. They depend on the environment to stay warm or cool. Each group is special and helps us understand the amazing diversity of life on Earth.